Oh, here we go. Speaking of just funny, outrageous wealth stories, I thought this one was. There you go, man. It's all you, bro. That's it. So, Dogecoin creator, I made ninety billion in cryptocurrency in a few hours. I was like, can you imagine that? Like, I just can't. I mean, no one. This has never happened to anybody ever. Like, you know, ninety billion dollars. Like, you can't move product enough to like do that on any scale ever. Gold yeah. bars, wheat, barley wines. There's got to be a way where he kept some of this. You know, there's no way he sold all his Doge. No yeah. There's, I'm pretty sure there's an extra wallet he had. Uh, yeah, probably. Really I mean, how much money? Mo- at that point, it's like, how much money do you need? You, know, you don't need more than like five, ten million dollars anyways. But yeah. if you have a hundred or, you know, one hundred to a billion dollars, it's like so ridiculous, right? But yeah. 90 billion is so beyond that. It's like yeah. not even... So, in a recent Twitter exchange, Dogecoin creator Billy Marcus defended his cryptocurrency creation, which he claims he built in just a few hours. It later reached a staggering $90 billion market cap for a day. Eight and a half years later, he left the project. The conversation started with entrepreneur and investor Anthony Pompliano question whether there were any examples of a 1 billion business without employees. Marcus was quick to respond, sharing the story of Dogecoin, the popular meme-based currency he founded in 2013. However, another Twitter user, PDJ, challenged Marcus by suggesting that Dogecoin was merely a copy and paste of Litecoin, well-known cryptocurrency. He fired back, defending his creation by drawing an analogy between User's tweet and already created keyboard. Um, the Dogecoin creator defense comes amid recent developments involving the meme inspired digital currency. Dogecoin gained considerable attention when Twitter changed its logo to the Dogecoin logo. I don't remember that. Sparking a rally that saw the cryptocurrency gain around 30% value. However, the price surge is shortly lived, and the rally quickly reversed the value of Dogecoin dropped. Dogecoin's brief price increase and subsequent decline highlight the volatile nature of the cryptocurrency market, particularly for assets like Dogecoin that lack a solid foundation or real-world use case. While it is true that Dogecoin has generated significant profits for some investors, many experts argue its success is primarily due to the hype and social media influence rather than inherent value or utility and just as a popular digital asset blah blah blah. i mean nothing like this is going to be replicated or anything it's just like i didn't know 90 billion was like that's such an insane number right like like what i mean it probably didn't even make nearly anywhere close to that but for like a couple hours it was at that peak but still but still like a yeah a couple of days maybe like before saturday night live hit mm-hmm. it was definitely around that market cap um i mean it was i think it was at that point i think it was like right below uh, xrp if anything yeah. i think it took over xrp slot at that time yeah but every you know it reversed that's after. so crazy but yeah it was a top three coin it was like bitcoin <laughs> ethereum and doge and then yeah I believe it. Um, it's pretty cool, man. It's it's one of those things where like people believe in something, they're gonna make it happen, and that's what happened until Saturday Night Live happened, and then it just all went away. It's just like a perfect like sort of trifecta of like crypto. It's just like some new hype that people understand, yeah. a meme that people are just having fun with. And then people actually trying to make money, right? So it's like all these things converging at once. You know, people are. Well, you know, everyone everyone likes to buy in green. Yeah. And then when it's green, people buy. They don't understand it. But when it's red, people stay away. I don't understand that. It should be the opposite. Right. Like I said, pretty much, you know, there's all these people depressed this last year. That's like, you know, how much money they could have made right now while everything was down. Yeah. You know? 
like Bitcoin at like sixteen, it's like it's yeah. a really good time to buy stuff. Like if you yeah, want it over sixteen, sixteen was good, but nine would have been great. <laughs> nine is more my alley. I'd have been like Leo's Ooh. hunting for like twenty sixteen again or something. Yeah, that's what know, he's like, uh, like, 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 for. like you wanted just to go down to like nine and then you come back up and you're at forty. That's like four times your money. Dude. You gotta go to the parking lots and take people's gold bars too. You know. Costco bar hunting. Yeah. Gold bar hunting. Go see. Go go try to get to know some guys that say they have a lot of Bitcoin yeah. and, and go for them. <laughs> yeah, dude. Get their wallet. Get their, get their stuff. Yeah. Cool. I'm promoting stealing somebody's stuff. That's really good. Yeah, dude. Good <laughs> job, bro. We're all just joking around, right? Yep. Um, I don't know if I really have a whole lot more to talk about. Yeah, this, this is a quick one. I mean, honestly... Besides that, we're pretty much recapping what happened this whole year, pretty much, because like, like he said, we're gone for like ten over ten months, so there wasn't really much going on besides. And it was even slow then. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was. It was just pretty much just like we were basically just hitting on projects and stuff that like they're still building, even though the prices aren't bananas, which we're not expecting them to be. Yeah. Nor for a while. So. Yeah, they're, they're just kind of kind of touching in on the market. Yeah. Again. Kind of feeling it out. Year end review, kind of. Yeah, it's a year end review. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen in twenty twenty four? Shoot, we could be absolutely wrong, and then it just pumps in like January. How funny would that be? Yeah, it just pumps. Like we're Probably. like, it's on the news again. You know, Bitcoin's hitting seventy k, seventy five k. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna go to hundred thousand this year. And people then, are emptying and, their bank accounts. To yeah, buy Bitcoin. and and yeah, all the people that jumped out of windows and, and fridges <laughs> are just like. I'm invested again. <laughs> People are checking their pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're going to ZZ's house. He's like, I'm retired, bro. Yeah, dude. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy world. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just, I would, you know, if I was just trying to get into it again, I would just put, you know, a little bit of money here every week. Nothing crazy. Yeah. You know, maybe like what you would spend on dinner in a movie. You just basically put it on something that you think is going to like, that that yeah. you feel confident about and you've done a lot of research about. Yeah. Um, don't just go on YouTube and listen to these got these pumping and dumping guys saying that, you know, it you know, a doge is gonna hit ten dollars, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's like impossible. Market as we talk about market cap, you know, ninety billion, that was like seventy cents, seventy five yeah. cents. So for it to hit ten dollars it needs to be like a hundred trillion, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. It's like Yeah. It's exactly. not going to happen. So right. it's, it's, and then, it's like, funny. some of these stories, like, I'm not suggesting it's even going to happen even remotely again like that. I just think it's a f entertaining, sensational story, right? And, like, just to be clear with people watching, not us. But, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crypto responsibly. Trade yeah. responsibly. Like, because, like, I have... You know, people that I know, too, they're like, oh, well, you still do that stuff? And like, well, it's down. It's like, it doesn't matter if it's down. Like, yeah. if you're looking at like a, you know, two to five year horizon, like I wasn't buying stuff to turn around and make money necessarily. Yeah. Like, what can I what can feasibly, you know, make me money in a couple of years from now? Right. If like the whole market just keeps pushing up slowly over time. And then I feel like that's a lot more yeah. sane goal. You can do whatever you want. I mean, we've talked about this too in the past. It's like you have your like long term stuff that you buy, and then your like short term if you want to try to like, you know, buy super low and sell. And then like you know, it's like that's that's fine. You know, mess around, have a good time. You know, like the benefit to that kind of stuff is you learn. So if you mess up or not, it's like if it's a small amount. I just don't understand these people that like put twenty thousand dollars in like a crypto that falls apart. It's like, you already had the money. Like, I don't like, Yeah. That, how much that, money do you have? That's, like, yeah. They, ha they don't have it or they do have it. It doesn't yeah. matter, but it's straight gambling at that point. You right. might as well go to Vegas at that point. But even then they <laughs> learn, I guess, you know, I mean, it sucks, but you learn, but yeah. What are you going to do, man? I mean, you, so you like the beer. The beer is great, man. So another bottle logic, barley wine. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Good. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, man. It's going down like candy, bro. It's very sweet, but yeah. like, yeah. Well, it's Asian bourbon and vanilla, so, you know, it is what it is. 
Don't get me started another. about the vanilla, bro. <laughs> yeah, mm. I know you got a, like a raccoon farm around here or something. Yeah, maybe. Was it was it a raccoon? No, it was a it was a, a badger. It was a beaver anal beaver. gland. Beaver. I knew the rest. I didn't want to say it. Oh uh, well. <laughs> He sounded confused, so I had to clarify the, the situation. Animal. My brain blocked it out. Yeah. Clearly, clearly so, I mean, a beaver can be anything at that point. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to just be what you think it is. It can be anything, man. It can manifest itself. It'd be, <laughs> okay, what are you talking about now? <laughs> it can be anything. Like, a beaver can be anything, right? <laughs> it can mean anything. No. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. It's a, it's a, we're wrapping up this year. Um, I really don't see, you know, crypto hitting all time highs 2024. That's my bet, but I have been wrong before. So yeah. if I'm wrong, you're welcome for sure. And, yeah. uh, you know, overall, thanks for hanging out with us and watching. Yeah, and I know I've had some friends that have been supportive and asked when we're going to do some more and yeah, there you go. everything. So we appreciate that. And we're just, yeah. you know, going along with the ride and seeing where it goes. Uh, I'm sure in the future there'll be a lot of uh, fun surprises and I'm sure some fun price surprises. So Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, things are trending up over time for sure. That's just how it goes. I'll see what happens. So Yeah. So see if there's it. any more super big updates coming up, but there there will be. Um in crypto in general. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then uh, we'll be back. You know what I mean? Might not be uh for a while but we'll be yeah. back <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll check in sometime yeah yeah for, for, sure, sure. for sure yeah all right but, guys uh, thanks for uh tuning in and yeah. uh, maybe another time take take care i'll take it easy bye